This is Everyday Wellness, a podcast dedicated to helping you achieve your health and wellness goals and provide practical strategies that you can use in your real life. And now, here is your host, nurse practitioner Cynthia Thurlow. I'm really excited today to have Rachel Varga here with us. She's a board certified aesthetic nurse specialist trainer, speaker, and academically published award-winning author in the field of plastics and aesthetic nursing. And to her credit, she got up extra early because she lives on the West Coast. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me, Cynthia. It's such a pleasure to see you. And every time I've seen you in person, it's like you're just a glowing beam of light. And it's just a pleasure to connect. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. I was saying before we even started recording that I love seeing nurses and entrepreneurial nurses um, existing and thriving in the health and wellness space. And so super excited to bring you on. And I've been asking my tribe, what are some of their questions that they have a strong desire to learn more about, but let's dive into, which I found really interesting, dive into your background. How did you get to where you are today? Where did you first start when you started in your nursing career? I first got into nursing actually when my grandfather had a stroke at home and we ended up, my mother's a nurse as well. She Mm. was a geriatric nurse for many years, a night nurse, learned a lot of health tips during my, my youth with, you know, how to look after yourself. Mm. And we had the palliative response team come into the home and I just saw the, the care that they were able to provide to not only my grandfather who was passing, I held his hand as he passed and the whole family was there and it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's actually what got me into nursing was Mm -hmm. was hospital and palliative nursing and Mm -hmm. and all of that. And, and then once I finished nursing school, I didn't quite feel finished with my education. Mm -hmm. So I looked into becoming a naturopathic physician, Mm -hmm. a medical doctor. So that's why I have my uh, general chemistry, organic chem and biochem Mm -hmm. behind me because I did all my my med school prereqs. Mm -hmm. And I, during that time I was doing my education, I was working as a pediatric ICU nurse. So I worked with children who breathed through tracheostomies, were on ventilators and... When I hit about 25, I had my first rejuvenation treatment Mm -hmm. and I thought to myself, oh, this is a really neat field, Mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like I had great education Mm -hmm. during the whole process or I just felt like everything was quite rushed Mm -hmm. and it was a lot of just, just making money. Mm -hmm. Actually, when I had my first treatment, the clinic wanted to charge me double what I said my budget was. Wow. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that I thought was very poor business practice. And Mm -hmm. this is, this is a a medical procedure. You can't do that. Right. And so, so after I received my first treatment, my father's a carpenter as well. So I always had a keen eye for symmetry. He'd always Mm -hmm. say to me, actually, see that picture is a little crooked or that roof line has a little bit of a sag to it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so I have my mother as a nurse, my father Mm -hmm. as a carpenter. And uh, yeah, I just, I just rolled with it, got into aesthetic nursing, took a a wonderful course in Vancouver with a a well-respected physician, and then joined forces with a wonderful oculoplastic surgeon here and promised him a year and it's almost 10 years. So I was going to do a year in med school. This is my passion, just really helping women Mm -hmm. look as good as they feel because that's Mm -hmm. Those are the most vibrant women I work with. They've done the inner work. They're they're doing all the good body, mind, spirit, energy practices at home, but they just don't feel like things match. So mm-hmm. that's where I come in and I just sort of help blend the at-home routine with in-clinic options. Well, I think there's, and and again, I think what makes nurses unique in, in this space and in the entrepreneurial space is that we we come from a platform of education. And so that's always when we, we come from a point of service, it's mm-hmm. always to help educate and leave things better than where we left them. And so much to your point, you had this experience that for you made you realize there's probably thousands of people that oh, yeah. have that same experience. It's like a drive through service. You come in to get your Botox and you get pushed out the door after you pay your, your fee. And, and it sounds like a lot of what you're doing is, you know, determining what someone needs 
um, emotionally as well as physically Mm -hmm. and trying to make sure that you're marrying, you know, what their expectations are with what you can do for them. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And also the other thing about nursing that I think is so amazing is that we have so much flexibility, whereas physicians may do a residency and they're pigeonholed within their specialty for the rest of their career. Nurses have the ability to do ICU level Mm -hmm. care, and then they can pivot and become a business owner. And so I think that's wonderful. But I'd love to jump into, talk to me about some of the things that start to happen as we, as women are getting older. So obviously a 25-year-old is going to have a very different face than a 35, 45, 50-year-old. And some of these things are just natural processes of aging. Um, Obviously, there are a lot of factors that impact that, and we'll touch on those as well. But what are some of the first things that you start to see that, again, are part of the natural aging process that happens to our skin and the structures on our face? Mm -hmm. So in the 20s or even teens, sometimes we can start to see changes in our skin, like Mm -hmm. acne. For myself in my 30s, I got, you know, I really have to focus on an acne routine myself. And it affects women, men and women in their Mm -hmm. 40s, 50s, 60s throughout the years. So usually in the mid twenties, we start to see changes like maybe some brown spots or mm-hmm. freckles. They might look cute when you're younger <laughs> from the, you know, our glory days in the sun, right? Mm-hmm. Oftentimes we start to develop some smile lines, mm-hmm. um, some bumps to the forehead. These could be, you know, I'm not diagnosing this as mm-hmm. educational entertainment here yeah. that I share online, but the, the bumps can often be mm-hmm. things like sebaceous hyperplasia or milia or large pores. So we start to see those type of skin changes. And then in the thirties, you know, we have some different life events happening where, you know, professionals, we might be new mothers or new Mm -hmm. fathers. And then we really start to develop, say, you know, some of the lines between the forehead, Mm -hmm. across the forehead, crow's feet, deeper smile lines, maybe just the starting of the jowl and the Mm -hmm. necklines. And then in the forties, what's really interesting, well, actually, I'd probably say, 37 to 42 is generally when I see this kind of like across the board, um, the starting to the thinning, the thinning of the skin starts mm-hmm. to happen. So the loss of elastin and collagen, mm-hmm. we're losing a little bit of bone, fat, soft tissue, all of that. And then in our fifties, it's this big turning point where the big life event that women are going through at that point is menopause. Mm-hmm. There's actually a really great study done that looks at the changes of the face, that the shape changes that occur in women versus men. Mm-hmm. Women's faces change shape three times faster than men's wow. between the ages of 50 to 60. So if you're a woman in your 50s, you're looking in the mirror and you're saying, oh, I sort of noticed that things are looking a little mm-hmm. different. It's not just you. This is actually a fact. So it's the the bone, the fat, mm-hmm. the collagen, and elastin, all of that is happening. So whatever you can do at home to boost your collagen with healthy lifestyle and BD routine practices, that's going to go a long way. That's amazing. I would not have guessed. I mean, I know when I look at my father in particular, I, I noticed that his ears and his nose, mm-hmm. you know, the things that we don't want to seem are getting bigger. And of course he's a guy, so he doesn't talk about it, but it's like, I've noticed my look at pictures of my dad when he was 40 versus in his seventies. I'm like, goodness, like, I mean, you, you, you watch it happen. And obviously for you, you mentioned you've got this aesthetic eye. So it's probably that much more, um, probably that much more prominent. So when we're talking about bony changes to the face, I think people are probably not surprised to hear there are skin changes. I think Mm -hmm. that that makes sense. But what are some of the bony changes that occur? I mean, I know when we're looking at probably our jawline, like our mandible Mm -hmm. and our Mm -hmm. orbits, where our eyes are, what are some of the things that kind of broad concepts that, you know, our listeners would probably be interested in hearing Mm -hmm. more about? I actually had a really great conversation with Dave Asprey on his podcast about, you know, facial aging and Mm -hmm. and all of this. And I'll I'll break it down for you here as well. So our bones that, you know, the, the, some of the changes we really see is sort of the sagging to the jawline. Mm -hmm. So what happens is we're losing volume to the zygomatic bone Mm -hmm. here. So as the bone degrades, which is a normal part of Mm -hmm. aging, we lose the scaffolding or support. So Mm -hmm. the cheek falls. And what's responsible for drooping around the eye area is the, the, the opening of the skull, which houses our mm-hmm. eye, it starts to get bigger. So that's why we get that recession and that drop. Interesting. With our nose, the, the opening in the skull, which houses the nose, it again gets mm-hmm. bigger. So that's why the tissue expands mm-hmm. and our nose gets bigger as we age. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> well, I mean, 
what I'm saying is it doesn't make aging sound very fun, but right. I have to say my most beautiful patients are women in their 60s and up. Hands down, more gorgeous. Just that inner light, that, that mm-hmm. radiance. And I really want to talk about radiance because it's free and anybody mm-hmm. can cultivate it. So for the jawline, what happens with, with our, our mandible here, it recesses back. So it mm-hmm. breaks down. We get this recession backwards. So we lose the support to our jaw, mm-hmm. which is why we develop sort of the sag here mm-hmm. and the sag down here. And we also lose a bone to our, our, our maxilla. So when we lose that structure, everything falls. My, my good friend, who's a, an oculoplastic surgeon, said gravity always wins. <laughs> <laughs> and it does, but there's so much that we can do to mitigate that bone loss, such as reduced compression when we're sleeping. Well, I was on your website. And so I then did this deep dive. And so my family was laughing. And I was like, it's fascinating about the pillow and the sleep. And so I want to talk about things that we can do proactively. And so I dove into this copper, the NV copper pillow. And so that was then the rabbit hole of me reading yeah. about you know, how we're sleeping and how that can impact yep. the way that our face and our neck ages. So talk to me about that. So you found that on my blog and that's I really did. where I put uh, <laughs> rachelvarga.ca slash blog. I put all my favorite things on there. Yep. So the NV pill is really cool because that was, it's a, it's a medical device and it was created by other fellow aesthetic nurses that started to see, Kathy and Kim are their names, mm-hmm. and they started to see these changes in people's faces when, say, they were a left side sleeper. Mm-hmm. They would have more sag, they would develop more vertical lines. Anthony Hopkins is a great example. Mm-hmm. Take a look at him. You'll see these very deep and prominent uh, vertical lines on his mm-hmm. forehead. Those are sleep lines. Fascinating. And so they've infused copper with their memory foam pillow. It's made in Canada. It doesn't off gas or anything mm-hmm. like that. And copper has wonderful uh, antimicrobial properties, actually. It's been shown to reduce the sort of like stick mm-hmm. that different microbes, even MRSA, are going to have on the tissue. And they're even making this, uh, they have this great initiative to make facial you know, protective equipment masks infused with copper that are reusable you can wash them i'm totally switching to that yeah. in the office as opposed to these disposable surgical masks yeah. I, just, I think it's brilliant that is brilliant mm-hmm. so first and foremost how we sleep is really critical and obviously there's a nutritional component to the way that our our skin ages obviously people if they're consuming lots of sugar and yeah. You know, not getting proper sleep. But let's kind mm-hmm. of when you're when you're meeting with your patients in the office or virtually, beyond you know the sleep piece, which obviously we need to have seven to eight hours of high quality sleep, cold dark room. Um, sleep is very restorative and it's completely oh, yeah. underappreciated. Like that is mm-hmm. foundational to our health, and yet so few of us actually talk about it. And I mm-hmm. remind people if I if I cannot get you to sleep. I cannot get you to lose weight. Like it is that That's important. Yeah. Um, absolutely important. So beyond sleep, what are some of the other things when you're meeting with people and talking to them? Cause I know education is a huge part of the work that you do. Mm-hmm. What are some of the areas of focus for you? Body, mind, spirit, energy. Those are all critical. A lot of times women and men will, I actually work with a lot of uh, celebrities online, a lot of male celebrities. They want to look good too. So this <laughs> stuff doesn't just pertain to women. Mm-hmm. But women often come to me at pivotal times in their lives. You know, they've just got the career that they want. They want to look their best or they're just about to get married or they've had kids and now it's their time to look after themselves or their partners passed away or they're going through a divorce. There's all these pivotal times in women's Mm -hmm. lives. And what I find it and also health issues can come up. And what I find that it can do is actually be a little bit of a black swan for them. Mm -hmm. It can be, there can be silver lining in this because it allows them to just come back into themselves and realize that their self-care is important. Mm -hmm. And so women will talk to me, they'll open up to me. And one of the things as a nurse that we're trained to do is be a community resource. So Mm -hmm. when women share certain aspects of their lives with me, I can recommend you know, if you want to see a nutritionist, see this mm-hmm. person. If you need to see this type of, you know, body work specialist, go here. And so it's just really great to mm-hmm. be able to sort of um, assist my, my lovely clients in ways mm-hmm. that are a lot less 
superficial Mm -hmm. (laughs) because it's all part of it. It, It's all encompassed in beauty and radiance and all that. Absolutely. And I I think that unfortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, there's been a large focus, whether or not it's a manifestation of Instagram, you know, the Instagram kind of mindset where people bigger is better, bolder is better. Uh, I find that a lot of the women that I'm friends with or that I interact with that are doing you know, little things, whether it's a little bit of Botox or a little bit of filler, or they're doing lasers that it can be done really tastefully. And it oh, yeah. isn't necessarily look, making you look like a caricature. Um, mm-hmm. I always use Instagram as the, as I remind my children, I'm like, this is an example of what you don't want to do. Like anything to an extreme is probably not what you want to be doing. So when we're talking about kind of reframing aging and the mindset piece, that's so critical Mm -hmm. beyond, you know, ZMN or, um, you know, agents that are used to um, paralyze muscles in the face. What are some of the other modalities that you're using with your patients right now? Yeah. Well, obviously lifestyle is first and foremost, Mm -hmm. you're far better off understanding how to maximize your at-home routine and then come into the clinic when you need stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. But, but I find that getting on a really good medical grade skincare routine, doing things like at home dermal rolling, but you Mm -hmm. need instruction. You can't just buy one, you know, Mm -hmm. willy nilly off the interweb and think you're going to know how to do it. Right. (laughs) Right. Oh, this influencer said to use this product. No, you won't even see me sell rollers because people need to be instructed Mm -hmm. on how to use them properly in a consultation. Mm -hmm. That's really great. Collagen induction therapy has been used for decades. Mm -hmm. Red light therapy, tons of research on the benefits of reduction of inflammation and newsflash, inflammaging. Mm -hmm. Inflammation is really what ages us. And so whatever we can do to reduce that in our bodies is great. So intermittent fasting Mm -hmm. helps with that. Getting lots of sleep helps with that. So there's lots of like free things that you can Mm do. But, you know, what I find really works well is when, when we take really good care of our, ourselves, mm-hmm. when we care for our skin morning and night, following a really good routine that's been laid mm-hmm. out for us, not just trying to guess it and doing collagen induction therapies or different laser therapies that are going to mm-hmm. stimulate collagen is great. And then really only do injectables when you need to, mm-hmm. but we live in a world of duality, right? Yep. Plus minus good, bad, light shadow, overdone, you know, maybe you should be looking after your skin because Mm -hmm. now you're starting to get skin cancers. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of that in between you and I actually were of uh, the skin type, this Patrick skin type too. We have some of the highest prevalences of skin cancers. So looking after your skin, feeding and nourishing your skin with antioxidants, really good sun protection with medical grade sunscreen is key to not only reduce the aging process, but reduce skin cancers, which Mm -hmm. can be devastating and metastasize to other aspects of Mm -hmm. the, of the body, but in injectables, social media, there's this, um, I'm just going to say it, it's it's an awful trend online. And Mm -hmm. it was started by actually a very famous family online. I think we all know who that is, right? Yes. You know, like the red face after Mm this, you know, microneedling treatments. And, and it's, it's almost like, you see these people online in their, their photos and then you see them in real life. You're like, you look like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. And what's happened is their injector has um, disrespected the ideal facial ratios. Mm -hmm. So there are really cool tweaks that you can have done to basically shift different features of your face just by millimeters. Mm -hmm. You can't even put your finger on why it makes you look more rested or awake or softened or refined or polished but it just does. Mm -hmm. But as soon as things start to, you know, the duck lips, you know, enter Mm -hmm. the room before the face does, obviously that's not a good look. Right. (laughs) Well, I can remember um, uh, back when I was still practicing as a nurse practitioner, I had this wonderful student with me and she was always, she was like the eager beaver student, best kind of student you can have. And so I would walk in, I would introduce her to the patient. She would talk to the, I would step out. I would explain to them, make sure I had their consent. And she came out one day and said, I don't know what's wrong with this woman. And Mm. I said, okay, so let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. Um, Lovely woman. Um, Everything was overdone. Her cheeks looked like she had rocks in her cheeks. Her lips were huge. Uh, And I felt so badly because it looked painful. Mm. Um, And much to your point, you know, we have representation in the, in the social media realm and, and within the Hollywood community and, and beyond where uh, there are extremes that are that are done in a way that is not artistry. It is right. um, 
you know, art imitating life, if you will. And and so thankfully, I, I'm sure that a lot of that can be reversed. But for many people that don't know any better, like you mentioned, there are specific like symmetry parameters that mm-hmm. you know, good injectors and good health, you know, mm-hmm. healthcare providers are working within so that people look like an even better version of who they are and not a caricature of someone else. I'm sure by now you've heard me or others talk about the benefits of using CBD oil, and I'm telling you that it works. Direct CBD Online provides natural alternatives to prescription painkillers and medications. They sell only the highest quality CBD oils, edibles, creams, and more to help you on your search for natural well-being. And they strive to assist you in making informed decisions about your health and the products and supplements you use. If you've been thinking about trying out CBD, I highly encourage you to use Direct CBD Online. Click the link in the description to get started today. Yeah, that's right. But I'm a firm believer in your at-home routine, Mm -hmm. skin laser treatments, do that. Only do injectables if you absolutely need to. And just make sure that you don't have any other underlying health issues. Mm -hmm. You're not, you don't have any autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. You're not on antibiotics, antivirals. You're feeling well. And this is really important because if your body is already maxed out with toxins, Mm -hmm. right? Your toxic load is just like through the roof. Your skin's telling you this because you're Mm -hmm. starting to see accelerated skin changes or lesions or, you know, increased pigmentation that can actually, I was chatting with a a gene analyst recently that melasma and uh, pigmentation can actually be a sign that some of your genetic path, your, your detoxing pathways just aren't quite working very well. Very okay. interesting. That was the first time I heard that. And that was last week. Wow. I've gone to conferences for you know nearly a decade. But yeah. this, when you combine the functional medicine, mm-hmm. doing your labs, doing your your gene analysis, I just that's really how we can maximize what we're doing. Is that uh, the type of therapy that you're offering right now to your clients, or is that just in conjunction with working with other healthcare providers that offer those options with you? In conjunction with working with other providers. And you actually, um, you and I are connected with a lot of these very Mm -hmm. forward thinking, Mm -hmm. health conscious healers all over the world. Yeah. And so that's what's great about people who kind of follow us. They mm-hmm. get access to all these amazing, just just wonderful people. But I will say that functional medicine is something that I'm very interested in looking into in some of my later years. Yeah, absolutely. And and for mm-hmm. me, you know, I'm traditionally Western medicine trained as a nurse and a nurse practitioner, pivot into the functional realm. And mm-hmm. I felt like it was like turning on a light, like all yeah. of a sudden you know, all these patients that I've been writing scripts for for years. And let's be clear, there's a place for Western medicine. I'm not being oh, yeah. critical of oh, it. Yeah. But I think when you're talking about prevention and chronic disease management, there absolutely has to be another way. And so there, there are so many people in our realm that are really doing incredible, incredible work. Oh, yeah, now, you touched on elastin and collagen. And so I recognize that maybe not everyone listening actually understands what they do, but there are things that can hasten, that can accelerate the aging of elastin and collagen. And I'm sure you probably kind of weave that work into your conversations with your own patients. Um, So talk to us a little bit about what starts to happen with the aging process in terms of elastin and collagen, because I know a lot of these pharmaceutical grade products that you're talking about probably are stimulating Mm -hmm. these very key nutrients. And, And it's something that I know for women in their 40s and beyond like me, um, definitely want to be super proactive about being mindful of these in particular. Mm-hmm. Well, antioxidants are big players in basically filtering out the the free radicals that are mm-hmm. hanging out in the skin. And this often happens with, you know, beautiful day out here. Mm-hmm. It's, it's quite sunny here on Vancouver Island. Uh, sunny day like this, we're getting a lot of UVB rays. So mm-hmm. the burning rays reach about mm-hmm. this deep in the skin. UVA rays, which are like the cloudy rainy days, they actually, those UVA rays reach deeper. The blue light from our devices reaches far deeper. So this is very recent research. So if your feet hit the floor, as Dr. Anthony Yoon says, America's holistic plastic surgeon, just did a great interview with him. It's like, if your feet hit the floor, you got to put your sunscreen on. He's absolutely Mm -hmm. right. And so if you're wearing your sunscreen, you're basically feeding your skin. Mm-hmm. Look at your, your antioxidant serums, your mm-hmm. moisturizers is like your multivitamin for your mm-hmm. skin. 
And that's really going to help just to nourish things on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. So just because something says it's got vitamin C or E or hyaluronic acid and peptides and glutathione and all this stuff, well, what matters is if those agents are actually sinking deep into the skin Mm -hmm. to support the dermis and reduce an overproduction of melanin and the keratinocytes and Mm -hmm. stimulate those fibroblasts to make collagen. Mm -hmm. So skincare will will do that. It's feeding, nourishing the skin. It's protecting, helping with cell function. And then, for example, um, dermal rolling or collagen induction therapy, very well established um, treatment that you can do at home. And, you know, it's been researched since the nineties, just do a quick Google search, dermal mm-hmm. rolling, coll- collagen induction therapy. You'll see it all there. Mm-hmm. So what it does is it actually will, will puncture quite deep into the skin mm-hmm. to allow your products to sink in deeper. That's why you have to use specific, very clean products with dermal yeah. rolling. You can't just use anything, but everything that we can do to stimulate the fibroblasts to make really healthy collagen. There's like Mm -hmm. over 16 types of collagen. Mm -hmm. So some lasers are going to stimulate certain types of collagen and then other uh, collagen induction therapies like microneedling are going to create others. So actually they work really well together. That's amazing. And so one of my favorite things about being uh, a podcast host is that I have the opportunity to learn through mm-hmm. my guests. And so mm-hmm. I didn't realize there were that many types of oh, collagen. Yeah. So absolutely fascinating. Cause I think for a lot of people, they think by ingesting hydrolyzed beef collagen, that that's going to mm. do it all. And I keep reminding, I keep reminding people like that isn't hurting them, but it's all these other pieces that are equally important and need to be emphasized. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about lasers. I know that for a lot of people, this is perhaps part of their yearly arsenal. And I actually do perfractional once a year. I know that Ibrium, the well, maybe I'm mispronouncing it, but the resurfacing lasers can really be integral along with like BBL and light therapy. So let's kind of talk through how Mm. those things can be beneficial. Yeah. You actually hit the nail on the head with some of my favorite technologies. (laughs) So there's new technologies coming out all of the time. And believe me, it's like a full-time job trying to keep up with everything. I I (laughs) I literally go to conferences, you know, twice a month and I'm teaching. So I'm exposed to a lot of the recent research as well. I'm working with medical liaisons Mm -hmm. to actually like get this content. Um, But but the erbium resurfacing is very special because it's uh, the target of erbium. Every laser has a target. Mm -hmm. So your BBL, the broadband light Mm -hmm. IPL therapy is targeting reds and browns in the skin. So it Mm -hmm. helps with diffuse redness, broken capillaries, brown spots, melasma, you can get some hair removal with it, but it's also (laughs) stimulating collagen. Mm -hmm. And then the erbium target is water and Mm -hmm. water is in every cell in our body. So erbium is just absolutely, I'm just gonna say this. It's my favorite way to get some wonderful resurfacing. But a word of warning is that not all technologies are made equally. And I was mm-hmm. very disappointed. Over a two-year period, I pretty much got my hands on some of the best technologies out there, mm-hmm. most well-known pieces of, of laser equipment. And I was just shocked at either a device wasn't allowing me to be detailed enough. So when you're getting a laser treatment and mm-hmm. you know you end up with like an inch of non-treated area around your eye, I mean, the eyes are the first area that they see. Mm-hmm. So we got to give, you know, the lower eyelids some yeah. extra love, right? Yeah. So sometimes the lasers aren't very detail oriented. You can't get the contours of the nose properly. Mm-hmm. It's really nice to sometimes go right over the lips to give non-injectable lip plumping. Yeah. It's very cool. And it's great for pore size mm-hmm. and, and all sorts of things. But But it's either not detailed enough. It's too painful. The downtime is too long. And the results aren't worth the money. And it's, there's just this huge epidemic of just really subpar pieces of technology out there. I think, you know, the concept of the buyer beware, you know, doing your research is really critical. I know that um, there are a lot, you know, I'm in the Washington DC area and you'll see lots and lots of these and I'm not targeting any one particular, I'm just making a generality. Uh, you'll see a lot of places that will pop up and all of a sudden people who aren't really trained in aesthetics Mm -hmm. that are suddenly doing injectables or laser because Mm -hmm. for many people it's it's a money-making venture Um, they see it as a a revenue generating potential and And I've experienced what that feels like and it's not good it's not good (laughs) yeah and I and I think that 
you know, there are conscientious healthcare providers that are out there like you that are doing amazing work. Uh, but you really have to do your homework and don't go to the cheapest, you know, if something, you see something special, like this is the cheapest Botox you can find. That's not necessarily the direction you want to go in on many levels. You want to make sure the person that you're working with has got the training, like much like you mentioned, you're going to medical conferences and you're doing trainings. And, Mm -hmm. and so you are in the thick of the research and you are surrounded by, you know, some of the best people within the aesthetic space to help learn from. And so that's really what you want. You want someone that's constantly learning, staying attuned to research mm-hmm. and only using products that are going to be beneficial ultimately. And that and, cares. And right. you can tell when you meet someone. And I tell this to everybody that I do a uh, virtual one-on-one mm-hmm. console with, you have to trust your spidey senses. Mm-hmm. If you feel like you're just being sold something, you feel like you're being rushed if the person you're see- potentially seeing looks mm-hmm. crazy, I mean, you really have to have to really just listen to how you feel because all of this stuff, it can be a beautiful journey. And there's lots of other providers, much like myself out there, that really care mm-hmm. and are doing their best to always stay in the know of the latest safety and the best techniques and all of that. But I love that you mentioned, you know, you did the due diligence to find the technology that yields the best uh, results for your patients, as Mm -hmm. opposed to something that just is touted as helpful, but ultimately is not helpful for you in terms of getting the results that you know that your, your patients are looking for. So when we're, when we're looking at products, um, what are some of the ingredients in it? And I'm just going to say generalities. So mm-hmm. when you're talking to someone about a skincare regimen, what are some of the really important things that you're looking at? You know, in terms of, we know sunscreen is going to be on there because you want to make sure that they're blocking aging and burning rays. But when you're talking about other products, what are some active ingredients people should be looking for when they're working with their, their healthcare provider, hopefully, and not just buying stuff off of Amazon? Okay, we need something <laughs> there that we need to just yes. spend a second on. Yeah. If you haven't seen the series on Netflix called Broken, you'll thank me later. Okay. Never buy any household cleaning product, mm-hmm. beauty product, supplement off any of these auction sites. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of our friends, Dr. Trevor Cates, the spa doctor, happened to her, right? Really? People are doing counterfeit products. And, you know, these products are being made illegally. They're being Mm -hmm. sold online. So always go with someone like myself Mm -hmm. who is a distributor. I get Mm -hmm. my products directly from the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever unsure about someone, what you can do is actually just go to the brand website and be like, Hey, is this person a legit Mm manufacturer or distributor? That's Mm -hmm. a really great way to just kind of do your due diligence. But when people try and seek out what's right for them online, it's like, where do you start? Mm -hmm. Right. How are you supposed to know? So I have a unique perspective. I'll make recommendations based on what I've seen helped so many patients after Mm -hmm. nearly a decade, what people keep coming back for, what the photos tell me is, Mm -hmm. is, you know, changing in the skin. And that's really, really important. So that's a different perspective than say you'll get at your local, you know, beauty store sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking for products, first of all, you got to start with, well, what is not in it? So Mm -hmm. you want to avoid parabens, phthalates, Mm -hmm. sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances, not tested on animals. And what are the business practices Mm -hmm. of that company? How do they treat their employees? So this is getting into the concept of conscious investing Mm -hmm. and and really paying attention to what companies you support. Mm -hmm. What type of research that they do? Do they actively do research? And do they have third-party companies actually researching Mm -hmm. their products as well? These are things that you've probably never thought about, but is critical to think about when you're looking at buying anything. We should be coming smarter consumers. Mm -hmm. So active ingredients that you want in your routine, you want your antioxidants. So your vitamin C, your vitamin E, your vitamin A. Active exfoliants such as glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, those are all awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, Mineral based sunscreen filters such as zinc and titanium. Mm -hmm. You really want the micronized zinc, not the nanoparticle. Um, The non micronized zinc sunscreens make you have like that white cast. Mm -hmm. It's not a good look. (laughs) And and those are really some of the things that you do want in your your products, copper peptides, glutathione, these, you know, vitamin B, these are all awesome things. And then looking at your supplements as well, because there are some pretty amazing nutraceuticals out there. 
So the one I, I work with um, one brand in particular, I have a really great episode where I interview Francois Vix. He is the founder of Gleason and Skin Nutrients. I'm not paid to talk about this, but there's so many great supplements out there mm-hmm. that contain really wonderful antioxidants. So one of the antioxidants that I like is uh, SOD, and mm-hmm. there's also a number of others out there, but it's great to work with products that have been researched and lab tested and not just going for what the latest influencers like putting in their mouth and smiling and, you know, taking a picture. <laughs> it's not about that. You have to be a smarter consumer now. Well, and I think that's, you bring up so many good points. I mean, first and foremost, in the United States, there's very, 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 very few laws enacted to protect mm. consumers. So food, food labeling, food and product labeling is really critical. And so oh, I mean, yeah. things are better in Canada than they are in the United States. I think we only have, I mean, it's less than 50 banned substances. So you really have to be a good consumer for sure. Yeah. Um, and make sure you're reading food labels. I know for a lot of people, they go instantly to Amazon because my own patients do that. And I have to remind them that, you know, I'd rather, you don't want a third party source. Most of the pharmaceutical grade supplement companies do direct to, to consumer. They don't, or excuse me, they threw a distributor. They don't just mail it off. They don't just entrust Amazon as, as good as Amazon is for other things. Um, you know, buying specific tailor healthcare made options are not one of them. So you bring up so many good points. And I know that I definitely will want to bring you back to uh, pick your brain more because I've certainly learned a ton already, but let us know what you're doing right now. How can we find you? How can my, my tribe find you get more information? I know you have YouTube and you've got an amazing podcast. How can people connect with you? Yeah, well, I love just helping to educate people and having fun in the process. We don't need to be scared of aging because, in fact, I just see so many men and women thriving. Mm -hmm. They're 60s to 90s that have this level of radiance and vibrancy that is cultivated from their body, mind, spirit, energy practices. And this is free. I just really want to uh, encourage you guys if, if that's in alignment with your views. My podcast, The Rachel Varga Podcast, I go deep into the woo of what radiance is. And I'm really unpacking the layers of radiance. And it's such a beautiful journey. I'm just having a blast looking into this. And it's really, really fun. Uh, So YouTube, I'll have sometimes the video interview recordings on there, or I'll be talking about different things like treatments or or whatever, and kind of like just giving you a little bit of an overview. Mm -hmm. But really how you can sort of discover what's right for you Mm -hmm. is actually through a virtual consultation with me. So I work with people all over the world. You can book a one hour session with me and I'll go through sort of what you're currently doing, what you could be doing instead, say with your at home routine, what maybe could be helpful, you know, in clinic to address your skin goals. And it's really helpful just to sit down with someone like myself because it's different. It's different than just showing up at a clinic, getting that free 15 to 30 minute consult where you're just meeting with a consultant. They're mm-hmm. you know, selling you laser packages and things mm-hmm. like that. And so mine is a little bit more unbiased. And then I do my best to find uh, providers in your local area based on, you know, if I know them or the technologies that they have. And also a good tip for me, when I'm looking at a different options for people is what technologies they don't have, right. because that often can say a lot about the type of practice that they are. And I just love helping people uh, have a great ebook and a really great, cool series that I'm just launching with my husband for both men and women. You know, a man could take it on its own. This whole uh, body, mind, spirit, mindset, diet, exercise. It, he's a pro athlete, my husband. So I've been able to pick his brain, but it's great for men, women, couples can take it mm-hmm. together as well, just to keep each other on track with their, their diet, their exercise, mm-hmm. their sleep, their mindset, staying motivated and their self-care routine. So some really cool things are, are coming down the pipeline and just everything's at rachelvarga.ca, unlockyourvitality.com. And if you email me or send me a direct message, it's coming to me. It's not going to an assistant. I check all of those. So just reach out. Any questions you have, I'm happy to help. Well, I'm so grateful for your time today. I definitely will want to bring you back and and dive and dig in a little bit more um, into the science. I had so many questions that came in from my female followers and I've been able to address them. So I'm very grateful for your time today. 
Yeah, it was so great to see you again and connect. And I really look forward to, um, you know, some of the things that you have coming out, like your book and and your supplement line. I just think that's fantastic because you are so well connected in the health and wellness industry with honestly the biggest names in the industry. And it's Mm -hmm. great just what we can all glean from one another just to help lift our communities up help everyone listening or watching to just make smarter decisions Mm -hmm. and just really tune in, start to get in tune and intuitive with what your body wants. And I think that's really key. You know, bioindividuality rules all, Mm -hmm. but being smart about not only what we expose ourselves to, what we consume, what we put on our skin is really makes a big difference. So thank you for your time, Rachel. Thank you for having me. Thanks for listening to Everyday Wellness. If you loved this episode, please leave us a rating and review, subscribe, and remember, tell a friend. And if you want to connect with us online, visit the link in the show notes.